The Benton area is up in arms over a decision by the city of Omaha to remove a bike corral. Now citizens are using their message in a unique way to grab attention. Senior reporter Jake Waskowski explains. A plea to Omaha's mayor strapped to the bike rack outside City Hall. Last week, the Benson bike corral was removed and bicyclists are up in arms. Community members in Benson and all of Omaha uh, are not going to let that happen. Uh, we're not going to forget about it. Greg Lilly says community members and Benson First Friday created art installations around Omaha in Benson and downtown using ghost bikes to remember the 12 stalls that are gone with different messages. The 12 stalls turned into one parking spot. Benson in particular is full of young professionals, young artists, young musicians, young chefs, and we want more ways of transport or getting around the city besides our motor vehicles. We want a bike. We want to feel safe walking. We want better bus systems. The corral was outside the former Omaha Bicycle Company location near 60th and Maple. The Public Works Department says there's no plan to reinstall it right now. It should have been kept here. It should have been communicated much more effectively than it was. Councilman P. Festerson says the new tenant does want the corral in front of their building. And Benson can have both, a bike corral and find more parking. We can accommodate additional parking interests while we also accommodate things like biking corrals and biking uh, stands and everything else like that because it should all work together and all be an effective strategy together. Some of the art installations were taken down quickly. Lily says this topic won't go flat. Just so the city knows, this will continue. Councilman Festerson says that the Benson Business Improvement District will meet on January 8th. Not only will they be there, but Ken Smith, the Omaha Parking and Mobility Manager, will be there as well to talk all the options as to what could happen down here in Benson. Reporting in Benson, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. And we contacted the mayor's office for a response on the bike corral, but did not hear back today.